Hi, and welcome to another Tessitura Pro tutorial. In this video, we will take a look at a new scale and how to add it to your vocabulary for improvisation. Once you've practiced the scale and try to improvise with it, you can take the last step, which is finding substructures of the scale. A substructure is any structure contained in the scale or structure you are practicing. Let me show you an example using a minor triad as a substructure of the enigmatic scale. So we load the substructures panel and the minor triad as a substructure. Tessitura will find all the minor triads contained in the enigmatic scale. There is only one minor triad contained in the enigmatic scale, and it's on the flat two. In the key of C, that's a D flat minor triad contained within the C enigmatic scale. Why is this useful? Okay, substructures are smaller structures since they are contained in the scale you are learning. Small structures have a better defined sound. Triads are incredibly powerful and very easy to hear. They support their own weight. You can actually play any triad on top of any structure and it will be easy to identify giving consistency to your solo. Some triads might sound totally outside the current harmony. Others will sound totally inside. And the same goes for other small structures, such as four note structures, seventh chords, five note structures, pentatonic scales, and even some hexatonic scales. Also, they're easy to recall, play, and develop. If you're a studied player, you probably know all your triads and pentatonic scales pretty well, so it is a nice element to use in your solos. So the D-flat minor is the only minor triad inside the C enigmatic scale. All the notes of the D-flat minor triad belong to the C enigmatic. Let's look at major triads. There are two inside the enigmatic, on the three and the other on the sharp four. In C enigmatic, that's E major triad and G flat major triad. Tessitura will check if any structure is contained in the enigmatic scale. So check for the ones you know best so you can use them to improvise over a C7 flat five with an enigmatic sound. I like using chordals to get a more contemporary sound. Let's see what we find. Great. There are three chordals, the sharp four, the flat two, and the flat six. In C enigmatic, that's G flat four seven, D flat four seven, and A flat four seven. Also, the minor pentatonic is another good choice to investigate. Cool, the D flat minor pentatonic is a substructure of the C enigmatic. This is endless, so take it easy and look for substructures that you know well and are used to playing a lot. So now we have a bag of tricks we can use to create a solo over a C7 flat five using the enigmatic scale. Here are the ones I've chosen to use for my solo. One, the chromatic section of the scale as an approach to the root. Two, the D flat minor pentatonic. I will use only the first three notes. Remember at the beginning of the video where we found that the cool D flat E G flat pattern that sounded outside and resolved weirdly to the C note I'll add that to my bag of tricks for this solo. Three, the close relationship to the dominant bebop in minor and the mixo flat nine flat 13 to create a short changed bebop line. Four, the actual enigmatic scale. That's an obvious one. And now that I know how to play it, I can play a simple run on the scale. Five, the two major triads, which are the substructures, the E major and the G flat major triads. I'll alternate from one to the other to outline the enigmatic scale, but using triads. And six, the chordal on the flat six. The A flat four seven chordal we found inside the enigmatic scale. That's all I'll use for this demo. In a real life situation, I would not limit my sound to just notes from the enigmatic. You can use any notes you want, but you can still have a basic sound you're going for. But for this demo, I will only play notes from the enigmatic scale. Here's the solo. Thanks for watching. Get Tessitura Pro and start practicing today.
Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.